stupidity and unconscious bias often do more damage than venality. Of all forms of caution, caution in love is perhaps the most fatal to true happiness. But to fear love is to fear life, and those who fear life are already three parts dead. I would never die for my beliefs because I might be wrong. In all affairs, it's a healthy thing now and then to hang a question mark on the things you have long taken for granted. One of the symptoms of an approaching nervous breakdown is the belief that one's work is terribly important. Fear is the main source of superstition and one of the main sources of cruelty. To conquer fear is the beginning of wisdom. It is easy to fall in love. The hard part is finding someone to catch you. It is the preoccupation with possessions more than anything else that prevents us from living freely and nobly. Collective fear stimulates herd instinct and tends to produce ferocity towards those who are not regarded as members of the herd. No one gossips about other people's secret virtues. It has been said that man is a rational animal. All my life, I have been searching for evidence which could support this. The secret of happiness is to face the fact that the world is horrible, horrible, horrible. The infliction of cruelty with a good conscience is a delight to moralists. That is why they invented hell. Neither a man, nor a crowd, nor a nation can be trusted to act humanely or to think sanely under the influence of a great fear. The whole problem with the world is that fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves and wiser people so full of doubts. Everything is vague to a degree. You do not realize till you have tried to make it precise. The greatest challenge to any thinker is stating the problem in a way that will allow a solution. Anything you're good at contributes to happiness. To be without some of the things you want is an indispensable part of happiness. Science is what you know. Philosophy is what you don't know. Sin is geographical. What is wanted is not the will to believe, but the will to find out which is the exact opposite. Remember your humanity and forget the rest. Dogmatism is the greatest of mental obstacles to human happiness. Man is a credulous animal and must believe something. In the absence of good grounds for belief, he will be satisfied with bad ones. Life is nothing but a competition to be the criminal rather than the victim. A happy life must be, to a great extent, a quiet life, for it is only in an atmosphere of quiet that true joy can live. 
Is there any knowledge in the world which is so certain that no reasonable man could doubt it? How much longer is the world willing to endure this spectacle of wanton cruelty? Nothing is so exhausting as indecision, and nothing is so futile. Patriotism is the willingness to kill and be killed for trivial reasons. Conquer the world by intelligence, and not merely by being slavishly subdued by the terror that comes from it. Boredom is therefore a vital problem for the moralist, since at least half the sins of mankind are caused by the fear of it. It is a waste of energy to be angry with a man who behaves badly, just as it is to be angry with a car that won't go. A sense of duty is useful in work, but offensive in personal relations. People wish to be liked, not to be endured with patient resignation. Mathematics, rightly viewed, possesses not only truth, but supreme beauty. One of the most powerful of all our passions is the desire to be admired and respected. Whoever wishes to become a philosopher must learn not to be frightened by absurdities. To be able to fill leisure intelligently is the last product of civilization, and at present, very few people have reached this level. Science may set limits to knowledge, but should not set limits to imagination. Few people can be happy unless they hate some other person, nation, or creed. Even if all the experts agree, they may well be mistaken. <laughs>